Welcome to day camp in the park, where we consider the most beautiful, authentic day camp in the metropolitan area. We hope you enjoy this virtual tour, and please call us for any questions. I am Ken Glotzer and founding father of Day Camp in the Park. So this is our gymnastics center, which we house in our cafeteria. One of the great things about it is, as you can see, we have a really tall ceiling so the kids can ja uh, jump on the trampoline here. The other great thing about it is, is we have a former camper who runs our gymnastics program. His name's Steve Figueroa. You might see him helping some of the campers back there. And he works with Rockland BOCES during the school year, helping kids uh, learn things through gymnastics. So this is a great example of another one of the activities we have here at Day Camp in the Park that goes on, rain or shine. As you can see, there's a 40-foot tumble track behind me. There's a full-size trampoline. We have the bars over here, the high bars and the low bars. And of course, we have a balance beam, as well as a number of other different activities to use here. Um, each counselor is here with the campers during the activity themselves, which often uh, adds a lot of motivation for the campers. So this is another great example of the special activities that go on every day here at Day Camp in the Park. You can probably see behind us, there's a Break the Piñata competition going on. So the young ones really love that for our four, five, six, and seven-year-old groups. And behind us, if you kind of turn around, uh, you'll be able to see groups playing volleyball, some of the younger kids here on the uh, jungle gyms. So there's always stuff going on. You can probably even hear in the background our softball tournament with the player introductions going on as well. No matter which area the camper goes to, they have choice. They typically have between four and five choices. So for example, if you peek to your right, you'll see a softball game going on. Behind that big building over there is our archery center. To the left of that is our basketball center. On the other side of that big blue wall is an amazing climbing wall. So there's always four to five amazing choices for campers to do wherever they are. programming. We like to emphasize choice here at Day Camp in the Park. So if you look over here, there's actually a softball game in progress. Right over here, we have archery. Right behind me in that big brown building, that's our dodgeball gym. Right over there, that's our climbing wall. And of course, right over there are the beautiful basketball courts. The best thing about all of this is that it takes place right here in this amazing setting in the forest of Harriman State Park. So while the kids are doing these activities, they're getting to enjoy this beautiful environment, and most of them are in the shade as well, which is a wonderful bonus too. So what you guys see behind me right now is a karate class. It's taught by our instructor John, who runs his own dojo. And we also teach kung fu in the afternoon, taught by their own respective teacher. What you can see as well is there's a cabin next door, which is great because in inclement weather, the entire group can go in and do karate indoors. Behind us is our famous hill that Carl's going to tell you a little bit about. So at the end of every single day, we always gather on this hill to make some camp-wide announcements, give out some awards, like if someone got a bullseye in archery, or if they pass their deep water test, or maybe their kayak test for the first time. We like to make sure that we have that real traditional camp spirit, where the whole camp can really congratulate people on the different things that they've accomplished, the different skills they've been building here at camp. And we usually have a nice little chant, repeat after me song as well. So it's a lot of fun at the end of every day. One of the greatest things about having a camp in a park as magnificent as this is to have wildlife like this. We have blueberry bushes growing right over here. We have raspberry bushes growing right over here. They grow around the entire uh, perimeter of the lake, and they're also found all over the camp. You can actually eat them right off the yeah. bushes. Delicious. Yum. So as you can see behind us, this is our in-ground swimming pool. It's three feet on one side and four feet on the other. 
And it's really great for instructional swim, which is taking place right now. You can see the lifeguards are working with some of the eight and nine-year-old girls, teaching them how to swim here. It's really an everyday activity that we place a great deal of importance on. One of the nice things is if you're not a very strong swimmer, you will receive daily instructional swim lessons. They're very individualized for each respective level. Welcome to another cluster area of programming here at Day Camp in the Park. You might see behind us is our tennis courts where we have for tournaments and instruction and we also even have a skateboard park beyond that. We've added a new game here called pickleball just in the last year which is kind of a mix between tennis and ping pong and you might see behind you there's actually a little mini soccer field so we like to make sure throughout the camp that wherever the kids are we're always offering them three or four different activities that they can choose from each of them with their own individual instructor that's ready to help the kids learn actual skills through clinics or is just ready to set up a game for them to have fun with. So this is the first of our three different art programs that we have here at Day Camp in the Park. This is traditional arts and crafts, again led by its own certified teacher. And here they do projects like tie-dye t-shirts, they do painting, they make rock pets, they make lanyard bracelets, so a lot of the traditional stuff that you associate with art projects at camp is what they do here in this building. The other nice thing is they have picnic tables right outside, so on a nice day they can work outside, and on a rainy day they have this nice cabin to work inside. As you can see with our four and five year old nursery group right behind us working on some stuff right now. So I think the only thing that matches the diversity of our campers and staff here at Day Camp in the Park is probably the diversity of our boating fleet. We have everything from traditional rowboats and canoes to bicycle boats, little ducky boats that we call uh, ducky boats because they look like the bill of a duck. We have traditional pedal boats. We've got just about everything, a sailboat even, and we have it all nice in our own private cove here, which is really protected from the wind and the current, so even the younger ones can control their boat with no problem. But that doesn't mean that kids don't get to go out onto the greater part of the lake. That spot right there, just beyond the cove, is a big island that sometimes the boating staff and the counselors will take kids out on to make campfires and do some other exploring. We also have a fishing dock, which is just behind that building over there, so that kids can also do a little fishing here in the lake where we have the traditional sunnies and bluegills along with some largemouth bass too if they're really lucky. Thank you for making the time for watching Day Camp in the Park and we welcome you to visit anytime for you and your family.